Hi guys, welcome to this video. So what I want to do today is show you guys an update of the campaign manager and also I wanted to sort of throw this out there. I've had a lot of people sort of sign up for the campaign tool, the online campaign tool. Um, I'll give you an idea of what that is if you haven't seen it before. Again, link in the description to the page where you can read a bit more. Um, but you're going to find out more on this video. I really wanted to find out because some people have been logging on, some people have been creating campaigns and then basically just leaving it. Um, with basic empty uh, campaigns. So I've been taking measures to try and make it easier, give people a few hints on how to get further than that. And just, I'm really wondering what you guys think of it, if you've used it, um, anything that's, um, that's that's missing that would help you to, to, to get further into using it. So with that uh, in mind, I want to take you to this page here. This is basically a page that I've set up. It's a little bit of a landing site. I realize that there's actually nothing on the... Um, Nothing on the website to to point to the fact that it's there until you logged in. So it needed a page to basically tell you what the campaign tool is um, before you create an account and that sort of thing. So it goes through the main features, what you can do as an admin, um, what you can do as a player. It's got the video that I made last time, just going through uh, how it all works, um, then what to do if you fancy a go. And I've also added this page at the bottom here, and try and keep this short and sweet, which lists new features that I'm adding. In this instance, I've added um, sort of tasks when you first create a uh, campaign but I'll show you that in just a moment and also the fixes that I've been going through as well so I found that uh, using apostrophes in a faction name caused problems when you were trying to add your army into um, into a campaign so I've fixed that as well and then also you can leave a comment down here with any bugs that you found any suggestions that you'd like to see that sort of thing and um, leave me a comment and I'll look into getting that sorted for you right then so this is what I added now when you first create a campaign, you've got a default title at the top here, an edit campaign button, and before, all you had was this screen here, minus these tasks here in red. And what I've basically added is I've basically prompted people to create a description, and also to invite an army to their campaign, because I found that some people have updated the map and just not um, invited anybody to the army, into, into the campaign, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add a description, Really simple, if I could type, wow. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Three by four. And what we should find when we go back is, there we go, map is bigger. And also it's removed that task from there. So it's basically, um, it's helped you by clicking the link there to find out where you need to go to start editing the campaign, that sort of thing. That's what I've tried to do anyway. And then you click this one here and you basically invite somebody by their email address and, uh, at that point, it will um, it will go away. The message will go away. Uh, this one here, there. That is it, basically. Another thing that I've done as well uh, to try and encourage people to use their own um, custom maps is I've put this little bit here, which tells you the, roughly the size that you're looking at. Um, in terms of pixels to get the right dimensions for the map as well because one of the things we're finding is that if you were putting in a square map into um, a grid of hexes that wasn't necessarily square because um, the, the, the grid actually ends up shorter than it is wide um, this allows you to kind of see roughly what sort of pixel uh, dimensions you need the the, um, the image to be and hopefully that'll distort it less when you upload it. It's one of the things we noticed when people were uploading um, pictures of planets that the planets were becoming more ovals than, uh, than spherical. And again to go alongside that I've started making these images here. Now this is uh, basically designed to be an overlay. It's actually a uh, transparent image that's coming up as, with a white background because I haven't got it on anything at the moment. And um, you could put this into an image editor like Photoshop or Paint.net, anything which allows layers and uh, you can use it to sort of overlay on top of a map if you're designing one and then you can sort of figure out where each individual aspect is going to be. So if you needed a mountain to be in this square here, for example, you could make that sure that was the case by using this overlay. I'm going to make different overlays for the different uh, size combinations that you can do just so you can whack it into an image editor and it also gives you the correct dimensions as well so if your if your map stays to the same dimensions as this little template i've made you'll know that it'll stay exactly like that when you upload it into the uh, into the site and will be displayed lovely behind your hexes here um i think that's basically everything i wanted to cover um yeah <laughs> uh if you're uh, looking to buy things 
head on over to these guys here. Uh, if you're in Derby or the East Midlands, you're looking for an awesome place to play, again, head over. <laughs> I'll get it right this time. I'm a bit uh, I'm a bit rusty. It's been a while since I've made one of these, isn't it? Uh, head on over, and uh, if you're looking to buy something on the website, you can use that code there to get an extra 5% off. It's a really nice store. Um, loads and loads of tables to play whatever games you want. Um, really brilliant. Okay, keep up with me in between videos over there. I got that one right. <laughs> And again, if you're using the site, uh, let me know anything I can do to make it easier to for you guys, um, any features that are missing, that sort of thing. Again, I will say that I'm trying to keep it system agnostic, so adding in something specific to one, um, one system isn't going to play too well because then it, it shows up on everybody else's and they might be using it for a completely different game, basically. Um, that might also be something which is stopping people use it, you never know. <laughs> but let me know down in the in the comments. And again, a link in the description to that page. And uh, if you fancy having a play, just register an account and uh, create yourself a campaign. Nothing to lose, really. It's free. Um, bish bash bosh. Right then. Uh, yeah, that's all I've, I've really got to say. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while since I put up my last video. Um, hopefully, going to get into this a bit more. But... Uh, yeah, just wanted to make a video to cover the thing that I've been mainly uh, obsessing over before I go back to the showing miniatures, which should be this week, hopefully. So, Thank you for hanging in there, guys, and for all the new people who subscribed, welcome. Uh, there will be more videos in the next month, hopefully. Right, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.